Rain or sunshine dependent agriculture is generally agreed is not sustainable anymore due to erratic weather patterns. One of the steps government has taken to cushion farmers is agricultural insurance, which has a 5 billion subsidy allocated to it this financial year. There's about 11 insurance companies formed a consortium under the framework of the Uganda Insurance Association. And through that uh, framework, insurance companies are reaching out to farmers to sell policies for agricultural insurance. And uh, we agreed in the framework, the way the insurance is constructed, is that you have a 30%, a 40%, a 50%, and 80% subsidy, whereby 80% subsidy is provided to farmers who are in very vulnerable geographical locations. Uh, 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 geographical locations which are vulnerable to adverse vagaries of nature. For example, the Bududas, Kasese, and all that. Then those who are less endangered receive 50% subsidy, and the rest will get 30%. It's designed to compensate against drought and flooding. Once the insurance company uh, engages the farmer and the farmer agrees to taking an insurance a policy on an insurance product, then the insurance company submits a claim okay, through Uganda Insurance Association and the regulator, insurance regulatory authority. The insurance regulatory authority verifies a claim that has been submitted by the insurance company. And once it is found to be uh, proper, then uh, the regulator advises central bank where the money, the account is, to disburse the reimbursement to the insurance company. The way it works actually, the government reimburses the insurance company the amount of the subsidy. In a meeting to examine progress of this initiative, which is in its inception, Players from financial institutions raised concerns of the existence of a framework and law to enable agricultural insurance. So from an institutional point of view, me, I think the first step that we need to do is to have a law that backs agricultural insurance in the country. Once we have that law, um, we will then sort of like have all the key stakeholders represented. We have to work with well-structured, well-organized uh, uh, clients, farmers, who we actually really know what their, their needs are and we identify what their expected uh, potential losses are and that when <laughs> there is a, uh, a crop failure, um, there is a mechanism by which they feel they are really genuinely getting uh, a benefit from the insurance that they are receiving. But we need to provide these farmers with information we need to educate them, we need to continually educate them and ensure that they also change. That ties in with encouraging uh, farmers to practice good agricultural practices. Certainly much work needs to be done. And while government pledges commitment to agricultural insurance on one hand, it's evidently a different ball game, getting it from looking like a political move to having real impact in the life of the mostly smallholder farmers. Samo Setumba, NTV, Business.